team. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. I uh, on my YouTube channel, I did a few videos of me reviewing uh, things that I had gotten, and I figured I'd try to do that again, uh, see how it worked. And so, what better way to start out with uh, something I got today, thanks to my lovely, lovely parents, is the Obi Wan Kenobi Revenge of the Sith Black Series FX Saber. And uh, I really like it. I'm going to start out with the hilt first. Obviously, as you notice, the uh, neck is not as thin as it in the, is in the movie, which I know a lot of people have a problem with. And uh, I, 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 I do like the neck part, how thin it is in the movie. And it is sad that it's not as thin, but it is understandable because the blade itself has to be hooked securely into the hilt. And so they obviously can't bring this thick thing in through the neck if it's too thin because then it would just be too wobbly and wouldn't be uh, sturdy enough. Uh, uh, another part is, uh, after the neck, is this area right here. Uh, it looks a bit rough, but I like how it feels in the hand. Like, it feels really good. Like, you can get a good grip on it. And uh, it's really well detailed. I like how... Uh, I've always liked how... Uh, how much detail uh, the uh, Hasbro puts into their Black Series... Or any FX saber really. Uh, then you have the ignition area, and they have the uh, little cogs and dots that you see on his, on Obi Wan's lightsaber in the films. And then you have where it hooks onto the belt. Obviously, you can't do these with these lightsabers unless like you want to tear it apart, take the blade out, and I don't want to do that with mine. And then you have where the batteries go. The pummel of the lightsaber looks really nice. The squares and stuff that goes around the pummel of the lightsaber. And also, on the uh, where the blade comes into the hilt, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. I can't really move it closer because it's on the wall. You see the dots that go around the lightsaber. I like that detail that they put it in. And uh, the hilt looks really good. I really like how it feels. Uh, I have the Luke Skywalker Black Series lightsaber, and it's sort of similar in a way, but uh, this part is more smooth and uh, is silver like the rest of the lightsaber. It doesn't have this sort of rigid grip that this one does. And now onto the blade. You can see the, the hum is a lot higher pitched than most of the FX sabers I have. Uh, I'm going to mute that so it's not fully annoying everyone. Uh, the blade itself is sort of like a, uh, it's more of an aqua, aqua blue? Awkward. It's more, it's more of an aqua blue. And I like that detail because like, Obi-Wan Kenobi does have a traditional blue lightsaber, and uh, but like if you see, like I have the uh, complete character guide on the uh, on Star Wars, and they talk about how his bl his blade is a lot of the times a uh, lighter blue lightsaber than most of the other Jedi. Most traditional Jedi he just has straight uh, normal blue. Obi-Wan's Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber what is normal blue most some of the times other times it's more of an aqua like a lighter lighter color blue so I like how they added that uh, detail in here they made it uh, movie accurate as best they could for the blade color too and uh, I compared it to my Anakin Skywalker Revenge of the Sith lightsaber that I got back when Revenge of the Sith first came out back when they had that first wave of FX sabers before they were even black series whatever series they had after afterwards and uh, it's this blade is a lot brighter, tons of, uh, by a million times brighter than the Anakin Skywalker one I have, uh, and I think it possibly could because I have a faulty lightsaber for the Anakin Skywalker. It is old, I will say. I mean, it works great, but it's still a little. It's back in like 2005, 2006 when I when I got it. <clears throat> but it could be faulty in a way because I know that some of the lightsaber blades, like for instance, uh, faulty blades, my Mace Windu lightsaber that I got, that they don't sell anymore. I wish they remade it in Black Series because I would love to get it in Black Series if they could. Uh, but the, the Mace Windu one. Uh, mine, it looks a little purple, but it's not straight purple. It's more like a deep blue with a hint of pink running through it. And I, I thought maybe that's just how they made it. But uh, you look at when I looked at videos of people with that same lightsaber that I had, uh, it, was, it looked purple. It could just have been the video, but it actually looked purple, and so I was a little disappointed with mine because it's it looks it looks just like this, but like a little bit shade of pink to it, not like straight like you can't tell it's 
pink. It, like, it looks like a deep blue, but like a pinkish blue instead of purple in a way. So it's sort of disappointing with that. Um, I don't know if, uh, if the Black Series Blue Sabres are this bright or this color blue anyway. Um, I want to get Luke Skywalker Rays slash Rays uh, lightsaber from the Black Series. The only Black Series I have are Obi-Wan's now, Luke Skywalker's, and Kylo Ren's. I need to get Yoda's and, and uh, Luke Skywalker slash Rays, whatever they're calling it. I can't tell if it's Rays lightsaber now or if it's Luke Skywalker's. But, it, I mean, it's the same lightsaber from that Luke Skywalker and Ray had, but... <coughs> I still need to get it. So I don't know if the Black Series Luke Skywalker lightsaber is this shade of blue. Uh, it could be, uh, but I'll have I'll have to get it to see. I'll have to see a video of it or look at it to see, compare it to. But I really like this lightsaber. I was, was, well, I didn't spend money on it because it was a Christmas gift for me. But I'm sure it, it was well worth well worth it. I'm really excited to have this. Um, it's it's similar in a way to uh, Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi uh, Black Series FX Saber, except this part right here is on Luke Skywalker's is just like a silver handle, and uh, instead of this black rigid grip that you have, uh, really well done. I I love this saber. I love I'm as all nerds of us do. I'm gonna go around swinging it around, <laughs> try not to break anything, uh, but. Yeah, like if if you ever want to think about getting Obi Wan's Black Series lightsaber, I can honestly tell you that it's it's gonna be worth the money. Like it's it feels really good in the hand. The sound's great. Higher, it's the higher pitch hum that uh, so it's not as deep of a it's not the normal hum that most lightsabers have. Uh, the FX series, at least. Uh, if you want a movie accurate lightsaber, I recommend going to Saber Forge. I've never bought anything at Saber Forge because I think. Their prices are ridiculously high and overpriced. I know they're movie accurate lightsabers, but I don't need to spend seven hundred dollars just to have my blade make a noise. I'm sorry, but I mean their, their lightsabers look great, and hopefully one day I'll save enough um, enough money to get one. If I do, I want, I want to either get one that looks like Darth Vader's or Luke Skywalker's from Return of the Jedi. Uh, that's what a lot of people recommend. If they made Darth Sidious's lightsaber, I know a lot of people got Darth Sidious's from them. I don't know if they still make it though, but if they did. Uh, I would definitely get it. But anyway, yeah, I highly recommend this lightsaber. Uh, color looks great. Brightness is great. Ha uh, the hilt and hand, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the hilt of the lightsaber feels great in the hand. It's easy to move around it, move around with it. It doesn't feel too bulky. And it's not too heavy either. And uh, it's a great gift. So give it to your Star Wars fans that you know and love or get it for yourself if you're feeling dark side. So. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Have a great one. Merry Christmas.